I'm Mike O'Leary and I watch all about sports on Cavan TV. For the best so should you. Welcome to All About Sport on CavanTV.com, coming to you live from the Cavan Crystal Studios in Caventown, sponsored by DrumlinMedia.com. All About Sport is Ireland's first live web TV sports programme with over 2 million views worldwide. Joining me on tonight's show is Cavan Marathon runner Brenda O'Keefe. And Brenda has broken an Irish women's record in 2014. And last year alone, she completed 74 marathons in one calendar year. Yes, I know. So she holds the title for Ireland, Northern Ireland and Ulster. So amazing achievements. I'm delighted to have Brenda here with us tonight um, in the studio. Thank so thank you. you so much for making it all the way from Dublin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're very no welcome to, to Cavan TV. So Brenda, you're from Cavan Town. I am. You, um, I mean, just from our intro there, I mean, wh what an amount of achievement. Yeah. So bring us right back to how you got involved in marathons. Um, I started in 2010, the floor mini marathon. Myself and my sister Andrea signed up to do it. So we headed up to Dublin and did the 10K run. And from that on, I booked to do the Dublin marathon. So a couple of months later. And after Dublin, I flew to Frankfurt five days later to do the Frankfurt Marathon uh -huh. and I've never looked back. So that's, that's only like well, yeah. five years ago, yeah. so literally you're not at it that long. No. And you literally started off, was just something you always wanted to do? Or I never wanted in? to do it. I was never involved in running at all. I did gymnastics a lot in the town and did the school sports, the usual camogie football. But uh, when I did the Flora mini marathon, I just loved the whole, the whole atmosphere. Yeah, and the buzz the and the buzz adrenaline. Office, the endurance of even doing 10k then yeah. just tried went. me for more. Wanted, so it yeah. really went from that yeah, to longer um, distance. So over the last five years, you have just, I suppose, in one way become obsessed with yeah. trying to do any marathon that you can all over the all world over, yeah. and all over Ireland. Um, you broke the Irish women's record back in 2014. Tell yeah. us a little bit more about that. Um, it wasn't my plan. It was I didn't set out at the beginning of the year to do that, but I was training for my first 100k run and was doing multiple marathons back to backs every weekend. And I said, you know, I could be onto something here because the men's record was 85. And so for a woman, I set for four, 74. But uh, at the moment now, the men's record is 104 marathons. And maybe this year I'll break it. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see, but I'm, I'm well on the way. Wow, you really are. To it. How do you find the time? I know you're, you're a head chef at Falter Ireland, so you're a very, very busy lady. Yeah. How do you find the time to fit in all these marathons, you know, preparing for them yeah. and then travelling and all of that? How does that um, work out? At the weekends, I'm off, so I'm, I'm lucky in that way. And um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I train with the Dublin Bay Runners um, out in Hoth. So um, I train with them, as I said, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then uh, Saturdays and Sundays is my marathons or my, I'll do a marathon, but I could uh, use them as long runs for bigger events that I'm training for longer distance. So kind of average, like how many miles or kilometres a week um, would you be running? Maybe 60, 60 miles a week, sometimes more. It just depends what I'm doing. Right. Some weeks I've ran over 100 miles a week. It just depends <laughs> what I'm doing, yeah, or what I'm training for. Wow, that's yeah. inc incredible. How, you're 37. 37, yeah. Um, uh, how did you get your body, you know, to uh, to the, the level of fitness that you needed to have that endurance to be yeah, able to Yeah, um, I, I just found um, the time I settled into a marathon, it could be on mile 20 when, my, when I'm actually settled in to run and I could just keep on running. Where that's why I think the shorter distance don't really suit me, but the longer distance do. The wow. longer the better. The longer the better. Yeah. So you find the first twenty the most difficult once you get yeah, over that. I get over that mark. And I settle in. Right. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> you have um been doing various marathons over the last number of years. Yeah. But what's one of your your standout marathons, maybe one you enjoyed most or you know, the ultimate marathon that yeah, you, you always um, wanted to do? I think when I did Belfast last year, the twelve hour 
um, in St Mary's Peter's tra uh, track. I loved it. So basically I just ran for 12 hours around the track. So I went back this year to do the national championships 24 hour. So I stayed on the track and uh, clocked up 106 miles and came second in Ireland. So it was pretty. Wow. It'd, it'd be okay, just for the letter of you, so let for 24 hours, yeah. you ran non-stop? Non-stop. For 24, for 24 hours, hours, this girl ran yeah. non-stop. I think I left the track <laughs> twice just to go to the toilet yeah. and, and that was it. I ate my food on the track. I drank cups of tea on the track. I never left. Yeah, that is, you I never are sat like, down. Uh, really, you are like uh, a running machine. Yeah. <laughs> <You> <laughs> so, yeah. international yeah. champion, um, and I'm sure you're second in Ireland. Yeah. That, that's um, an unbelievable achievement. Of course, the, the marathons take you all over the world. Yeah. Um, do you enjoy the travel element? I love it. Absolutely love it every weekend. Do you go with, uh, do you have any kind of um, yeah. running buddies? Yeah, or yeah. Do, there's um, Seamus Dorn, a good friend of mine. He's came all around Ireland this year with me yeah. and abroad and Cled O'Hagan. And it's uh, like only for Seamus. I wouldn't get to a lot of these places because I don't drive. Yeah. So when I, f I, I go away to the UK a lot. So I'm off to Chicago tomorrow. Yeah. And um, I'm lucky enough, I picked up another marathon when I'm over there the day before Chicago. So I'll do a back to back over there. So, so how many miles is the Chicago marathon? Uh, Chicago is 26.2. So the day before, I'm going outside uh, Illinois to do one in Libertyville, the Perry State Marathon. Yeah. So it's, it's Do you feel it's like you, you'll be, your body, would, you know, most people saying, right, I'm going to rest before yeah. the big marathon and the main one is Chicago Marathon. For you, it does no. It's it's um it's a marathon, and I'm getting out to run it. <laughs> yeah. Definitely are addicted to, your, yeah. to to the marathons, but um obviously every runner has a goal and a time they want yeah. to beat, and you're not just doing it for the sake of it. You, you obviously you want to improve and and, and yeah. your time. What you want to get faster, but currently, what is your time standard? Uh, my time is four oh eight, which it was like hitting four and a half to five and a half hours. Just depends how my body is, but um for the last. Three weeks, my times have come down. Um, I just seem I'm getting a bit faster. Right. I don't know. To just the older you get, the faster you're maybe, getting. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. So hopefully, I'll push for under four, sub four by the end of the year. Wow. That's that's my plan. Yeah, that hopefully, is, that is your goal. Yeah. I know we have some photos, and in one in particular as well of you doing yeah. the marathon in. New York, I think Dave might yeah. be able to get that up for us on the screen. Um, oh, well, actually, we'll go to this picture yeah. first. Um, thank you, Dave. That is the Irish um, Runner magazine. Yeah. So you featured in that. That's a great feature. Tell us um, about that, Brenda. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really proud of that, to be in the Irish Runner, um, especially buying it for the last four or five years and to actually uh, be in it. Um, when Frank really asked me, you know, he'd, he'd like to do a piece of me, I was, I was thrilled and, you know, it's... it's uh, it's special. Yeah, it's great to have that recognition. Yeah, and I love it. Yeah, New York. Yeah, I, I entered the ballot for New York and uh, I never thought I'd get in, but I did get in. Yeah, so just for people yeah. watching, it's, I know a friend of mine, it's Heidi like Runner, and she, she said, you know, she was trying yeah. for years to get into the London marathon yeah. and she's got her place this year. So, you know, people think it's just not, you can't just decide I want no, to do it. No, you, you, you just can't. You have to go through a lottery and there could be like thousands, 140,000 people apply for I think and uh, only about 20,000 got in and I was lucky enough to be one of them. Do you have for a lot of these marathons, I know particularly London Marathon it's, yeah. it's all about a charity, are they all charity based or some of them? No, um, I've done a few charity events and I think it just um, when you're asking the same people yeah. for money that's the main thing but at Christmas I'm going to do a charity event. Yeah. And we're going and to talk about that yeah. one actually before we finish up. Um, w w before we go on, um, d tell us a little bit about your sponsor. Um, you're, you're lucky enough to have yeah, a sponsor. I um, have um, EVB uh, Sports Shorts um, do um, supply me with shorts. And Yvonne is Yvonne Brady. She's very good to me in that yeah. way. And any help I, she can give me, she does, which is great. And uh, the Dublin Bay runners are all behind me with support. So it's great. But mostly it's funded. It's yeah. funded by myself. Yeah, yeah. it's an, an expensive hobby. It is. Would you like yeah. to get into it in a more professional way? You know, the likes of, I suppose, Katrina McCurran and, and, and Sonia O'Sullivan, um, to name but a few of our, um, I suppose, maybe, Irish runners. Maybe in ultra running. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. You're really up there yeah. with Yeah, but I, I don't mind, but I'm, I'm, I'm at the back as well. I, I'll gladly stay at the back. And if anyone's struggling or, wants, or needs to walk a marathon, I'm 
I'm always there. Yeah. I'll walk no problem marathon <laughs> with anyone. Yeah. Um, running and marathons yeah. and people doing 5Ks and 10K yeah. has really grown and grown around yeah. Cavan, but around the country. Um, it's what, big everywhere. What tips would you give for you know people who want to get, you know, say, well, look, there's a marathon. I know one, yeah. Katrina, for example, is on this weekend, but might be a little bit late for some people yeah. now, but just to kind of get prepared and, and focus on one. Yeah, just get on your runners and go out. <laughs> and look, if you can't run it, walk it. There'll yeah. always be walkers and, you know, nobody's last. Yeah. You're going to finish. That's it. So if you feel you like, know, you know, you can't kind of yeah. keep up running, you can... Just keep at it. Like, it's hard. It's just hard for me some days when I'm out uh, running. I feel that I'm not going to get to the end, but you just, you just do. Yeah. yeah. And diet, obviously, you're, you're a chef, so yeah. you really know the right things to eat. That is yeah. the one thing for me, coming in from a training yeah. session, you're like, what am I going to eat? You know, to help repair the muscles. And there's so much talk between, you know, get protein and protein shakes. What's your take on all of that? Um, well, when I come in from a hard training session, I'll take a recovery drink. Okay. Um, and just say the morning of the marathon, I'll have porridge or banana. Um, some t when I was doing, I did 10 marathons in five days and my diet was atrocious. Uh, I was getting up and for breakfast, I was eating Mars bars and oh. cans of Coke. Just for the, the I just the craved sugar and uh, fats. Yeah. And then at night time, we couldn't eat. You couldn't, like you might in a vet all day. You're just, your whole body shuts down. Yeah. And uh, it's basically you're just living on refresher sweets oh my god Mars just bars. for that to give you that kick to give you that kick when you said the yeah. the, the replacement drinks yeah the protein drinks what what brand do you use or what um I there's mean, lots of talk yeah. and i'm always kind of worried to touch them you know thinking oh no am i going to bulk me up or are they going to well the, the high fi i take a lot and oh my goodness shake a new shake out and they've um kindly supplied me with um some so i'm taking that at the moment and it's working working well like I wouldn't have one every day yeah and maybe I'd have three a week so yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't be just taking protein drinks every day but I, I wouldn't anyway yeah. I can't speak for anyone for else but then you can get yeah. the protein from your eggs and your chicken yeah and your meat and, and whatnot plenty of eggs yeah that's I right <laughs> you <laughs> live on the yeah, eggs yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and again I suppose even the kind of what you wear as well yeah. you know you want to be in comfortable running gear yeah. You know, what would you advise people to wear in particular? Um, yeah, well, I suppose everybody uh, differs. I use, I've, I use every brand of runner out there. Yeah. Uh, I go, I chop and change, and it's, it's the same with uh, running shorts and tops. I chop and change. I, yeah. I just don't go for brand names. And you know, like when you start off, it can yeah. be very cold in the likes of when you're in Chicago, and then yeah, or it could be uh, very humid. I tend to run in a vest top because it, it can get very hot and the worst thing is to have a coat on you and a long sleeve top and having to to, to strip yeah, yeah <laughs> in the middle of a race but like even at the beginning of a race a black bag over your anything or an old jumper is yeah. perfect throw it away and then you don't you, you, you know, don't have to worry no you don't have to worry yeah. about it um we have um obviously you said you're going off to chicago tomorrow and yeah. um, are you excited about that, yeah. about that race yeah have you Can't done that one before no. no no i haven't done chicago before so it's one of the majors, yeah. so um, I'm looking forward to doing this. Yeah, and you've so we looked yeah. at you did the New York one. Have you done the Lon London marathon? I've done London, yeah. So I love kind of hit all the big ones. Yeah, and Paris and Rome, and yeah. Wow, so you've just been Bucharest. all over the world. Yeah, and again, just to refer back to, um, you want to you've. You've run a hundred marathons, yeah. but you want to break the record for women yeah, to I, run. Yeah, I, I've um, I've broke I've broke my own record this year, so. Uh, the men's record is 104, and if I beat it, good enough. But if I don't, my my goal this year is to run 100 marathons. So yeah. I'm there. I'm nearly there. <laughs> it's getting close. <laughs> you have to thank yeah. your sister, or maybe not, so uh, <laughs> for having you here tonight. Because yeah. your sister Denise contacted me. Yeah. And your family are all here um, <laughs> in in the studio tonight, yeah. um, and they're very proud of you and all your achievements. But you know, she. Really, you know, she was she was the one who said, you know, really yeah. what you'd achieved and, and yeah. it deserved that recognition that you are yeah. a great ambassador for um for Cavan and for um somebody who does marathons. Yeah. And we're delighted to have you, you in on yeah. the show. It's brilliant. Um but tell us right, you're telling us you don't drive. Yeah. I so don't you drive. have a plan for Christmas. You're gonna get home for yeah. Christmas. So no lifts, no buses. No buses. Well, for the last fourteen years my Facebook status it has been uh, driving home for Christmas. Yeah. And it's either my sister Denise or my <laughs> brother in law Barry collects me. So this year I'm going to run home for Christmas from Dublin to Cavan. Um, I'm going to uh, partner up with uh, Lorraine O'Neill and yeah. do it for uh, 65 Brosses and hopefully raise some money to build uh, the private room. room. 
Yeah, so which is brilliant. I you. hope to leave the day before Christmas Eve and run during the night and arrive in Calvin Town um, at lunchtime Christmas Eve. So there's a bit of planning to do, but yeah. that's... How will that work? I mean, will you have to have somebody kind of driving yeah, along with you? Yeah, I need a crew yeah. just for safety and just to hold water and food and stuff for me and just to have light on the road, so... And just going to constantly keep running? I constantly keep running. Yeah, from have Dublin. Have you ever like, s had to stop a marathon and just pull out in uh, halfway through or for cramps? No, or I've, I've never uh, pulled injury. out, thank God. Um, I might have to stop and just uh, maybe j just to st step back back for a minute yeah. and to get yourself together and keep going on. But thankfully, I've never had to pull out. I can't, I can't wait to, to hear oh, more about bad, that one at Christmas. Oh, bad days. And uh, we've had we Lorraine O'Neill here. Yeah. She does great, yeah, fantastic, fantastic work, work. Uh, yeah. fundraising for CF. And it's great to, to hear that you're getting yeah. on board. And th this one, I think everyone's going to want a, a piece of that one. Yeah. Run home for Christmas. I'm excited about it's it. It's 110 kilometres. Yeah, it's, it's, it's near enough. That unfortunately, I can't go down the motorway. But, oh, uh, so you go on oh, the I old road. The old road. Yeah. Which, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I really can't wait. Yeah, wow. To, to get started. <laughs> yeah. You're probably getting lots of like toots of the horn <laughs> yeah. and there are all the yeah. cabin people if yeah. you get to know it. But this isn't the, the first um, long distance you've ran. You t tell if you've ran a few others, yeah. 106 miles. Um, in that. Belfast this year, I ran 106 miles, yeah. the national championships, and I did the Varro Tree 100 mile. Um, and then Portumna 100k, which I, I won this year. Like oh. It was First Lady Home, so I was delighted yeah. with that. That's brilliant. Yeah. Wow. We have some more photographs yeah. coming up on your screen now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great work going on in the back room. We've got yeah. the old team in there at the back. So, yeah, tell us a great shot by Mal McCann. Um, yeah, th that was uh, the more mountains. That was a tough one. What, 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 what it makes was up to that? like Boglands. Um, and then that's probably the only bit of road there was. Yeah, it was oh, all right. mud, mud landslides. Yeah, okay, it was a tough so one. you weren't on. It was a hard day. Yeah, that was a good day in Bucharest. Yeah, great marathon. Yeah, and well, there you are with the, the yeah, Irish flag. <laughs> that was um, a friend of mine, Denzel Jacobs, was doing a uh, ten marathons in ten days uh, for autism, and I did a handstand from the hand. <laughs> actually, they call that the handstand marathon now. Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that was in Wexford. That one. Uh, yeah, th th that's actually probably um, one of my first half marathons I did. That's probably about four years ago. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing! Wow, yeah. you are some lady. So you are. Um, so what? What apart from Chicago? What and then Cavan uh, run home? Like this is something that you you yeah. want to continue doing. What's your goal? What, what is the ultimate goal for you when it uh, comes to running marathons? My ul ultimate goal is that uh, people laugh. I'll run my four hundred marathon when I'm forty. Wow! <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to keep going. Right. You are. Yeah. You are a very, very, very determined well, I think lady. <laughs> I, I think I get it from, from my dad because yeah. I remember as a child, my dad rode uh, Loch Erin, which was 70 miles for uh, the night shelter in Cavan. And obviously 70 miles wasn't good enough for him. So we went on to row to Shannon, which took him nine and a half days, like 230 miles in a rowboat. So right. I think... So you He's there. I yeah. get my enjoyment. Oh, right. right. We should have had him in dad. here as well. Well, congrats. I think we have to give a big clap for that as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah. So yeah. really, yeah. I can see now when you put it that where you get it from, yeah. that, you know, we'll have to get your dad in here yeah. sometime to talk to us about that. That yeah. sounds very, very interesting. So I, I get it from him. Yeah. So we, we'll, we'll have next week's so show sorted. Oh, he, he's always coached me. Eat your creamed rice. Your yeah. tins of creamed rice. Yeah. So that, that's my, uh, myself and my father's secret. That is you know, cream rice. Yeah. <laughs> so it's obviously yeah. in your makeup and in your genes that you just have this, you know, um, yeah. ambition to do it. And wow. my kindness for my mother. Ah, which is great. <laughs> oh, well, Brenda, you are um, yeah. an unbelievable ambassador for Cavan yeah, and for you. anyone who's watching and um, really interested in doing marathons, you know, you really are. Um, you're some lady. Um, thank I'm you. sure people will be following you. And, and do you have a Twitter page or anyone can Facebook contact you? Facebook page. Brenda yeah. O'Keefe, yeah. Great. I've, um, so if people want to contact you, yeah, find 100%, out more about what you're yeah, doing. But a lot of people do contact me looking for advice, and I try my best. And mm. sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. But I try. You make it sound so easy. Can. You really do. Yeah. It's like yeah, you know, just do 100 and 
six miles. <laughs> but um, yeah. but thank you so much. You know, you took Thanks the time out to come from Dublin. You're yeah, heading back. Yeah, You're flying yeah, out yeah. Chicago in the morning. Best of luck with the uh, uh, marathon in Chicago. And of course, we'll be following you and hopefully we'll have the whole team back in here from CF. Yeah, please to do God, yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be brilliant. Which is a yeah. brilliant cause. But yeah. thank you very much. Thanks a million. Right, thank, thank you. you. Uh, thank Brenda O'Keefe. Brilliant guest. Thank you. Thank you. So... So that's it. Yeah, flies by for all about sport for this week. I'll be back again next Wednesday evening at the same time. And if you want to feature on the show, simply contact me at Cavan TV Sport. Don't forget to head along to Run for Katrina, which is taking place this weekend in Cavan Town, again for a great cause. So it, that is going to be a good one. So that's all from me, Louise O'Reilly.